Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a re This reading is a general reading so it is not going to resonate with everybody. So please do take whatever resonates with you, whatever you're feeling comfortable with and the rest of it just leave it aside. If ever you feel as though it doesn't suit you, it doesn't fit with you right now, as you are, then most likely it is just not meant for you. And that's okay. It's a general reading. If however you do have any questions and you would like to um, have a personal reading, you're in search of guidance, you're looking for some answers, you're just not getting them, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com so I can help you go and find those answers. That being said, um, if you do, um, if you do enjoy the channel and you do, uh, and you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do take a just a brief moment and click the little subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it really does mean the world. So um, I'm going to explain to you what I'm doing here. It's not something that I usually do. Usually I work with, you know, I, I either do just tarot or just oracle. Sometimes I mix them all up. Reading here is really called the blind spot in love. This is your blind spot for the sign of Sagittarius and it's something that you just don't realize. So we're going to do that. And then I'm going to move over to a little bit of a heart and soul oracle and a little bit of a lover's oracle. So with no further ado, let's begin this reading. So let's begin with the blind spot. So I know it doesn't mean much to you, but it really does have quite the significance. Uh, this here is a called ball, a bulldozing, okay? So this is a sigil here, which is the picture for the bulldozing. If you are bulldozing a part of yourself in this situation, Consciousness itself functions just like water. If you're looking at a river from above, you can see that a large river often branches off into smaller little rivers. And each time this happens, there is less water available to the main river. Due to trauma, which occurs in all of people's lives with no exceptions, the question is simply to what degree? Our consciousness splits just like a river does. It splits so that instead of whole, we are fragmented. It is easier to comprehend this process of splitting that, that is fragmentation, let's put it that way, in terms of how it affects our being by imagining that when our consciousness splits, as the result of trauma, our ego splits in two, okay? Now, and it can do this over and over and over and over again, which is why you become fragmented. This means even though we have one body and within that one body, we end up with multiple selves. Now, the best way to picture this is to imagine that inside your body, you have a collection of CMEs twins. They are technically all conjoined because they all share one body. But each one has its own identity, its own desires, its own needs, its own perspective, strengths, weaknesses, and appearances. Some of these internal Siamese twins we like to identify with. Others we disidentify with, we suppress, we deny, and we simply disown. We have a good reason for approving of parts of ourselves and rejecting others. But no matter how we spin it, it means that we are polarized. You have experienced this polarization any time that you come to a place where you have to make a decision and part of you says yes, while another part of you says no. When we are faced with this situation, we usually begin to play a zero-sum game internally. We make a decision so that the part of us that says yes has won, and the part that says no simply loses. It is as if the part of us that is saying no to something is standing in front of a bulldozer being driven by our other part, and instead of creating resolution so that both parts feel in alignment with the choice being made, the one driving the bulldozer simply runs right over the one who's protesting. This creates an internal atmosphere of distrust. 
It is antagonistic internal atmosphere is really what it is. The Siamese twins that we tend to bulldoze the most are those that feel fear. We cannot bulldoze our fear without creating more fear. Instead, we need to take love and care of our fear. In this situation, you must consider that the part of you that is being bulldozed exists and is currently holding a very important personal truth that you need to look at instead of ignoring or minimizing. You have important feelings that need to be felt and needs that need to be met. But you are simply bulldozing forward with the idea that you shouldn't feel those things and shouldn't need those things. If you have drawn the sigil here, you are being bulldozing a part of yourself in this scenario. That is why you feel like you are moving forward and you're doing things, but in spite of yourself. You would be wise to understand that you cannot do this and feel good or manifest anything good at the same time. In this situation, you need to make sure that you move forward on decisions only after you have achieved a state of alignment between your internal Siamese twins. This is your um, this is your blind spot, okay, for my dear friends Sagittarius. Um, I'm going to move over now to the Heart and Soul Oracle for you, and the Heart and Soul says. If you want to experience a deeper level of love in your relationship, you must both consciously and willingly surrender to one another. Feel and honor the sacred within each other. Be vulnerable and give yourself up to love each and every moment. And in doing so, you will unite in love. You will feel alive. You will feel reborn with each breath. One loving thought can create a world of infinite love. And as for the lover's oracle, I have here, acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things are as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. So that being said, my dear friends, this does conclude um, the reading for you, my dear friend Sagittarius. I do hope that you were able to um, to use, I hope you're going to be able to use the information that was um, involved into the blind spot and the two different oracle cards in your love life. I do hope that you enjoyed. Um, I do wish you the best for today. Many, many blessings. If you do have any questions, you would like to have a personal reading, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and um, please stay tuned for the following readings and have a great day. Thank you so very much for being there. I'll see you soon.